In this video, I'll be showing you how you can link the libraries of multiple XBMC systems. So that's running a MySQL server on a central, say, NAS or some other server. And it's great because you can start playing the movie downstairs, pause playback and carry on watching it on a different computer. Okay, so we'll start with installing the SQL Server package. So it's sudo apt get install my SQL Server. Enter. Yes, we want to continue. New password for my SQL root user. Highly recommended you set a password for my administrative root user. Yes, we'll have a password for that. Um, Now we need to make a couple of changes in the MySQL config file. But before we do that, I would recommend that you set your server to run with a static IP address. And to do that, go into sudo nano etsy network slash interfaces. And you change it from DHCP to static. And you just need to type in the following there to make it a static IP address. So obviously change those IPs for your own network. Then control X and just accept the changes. If you weren't sure what your IP addresses were in ifconfig, that'll tell you. Or iwconfig if you're using wireless. Right, anyway, back to the changes that you need to make. So sudo nano etsy mysql it's my Dot .cnf. Press tab to auto complete on any of those. Right, just go down to uh, C bind address we're looking for. I might have gone past it already. Ah, no, there it is right there. So change it from 127.0.0.1 to whatever yours is. So 192.168.62.40 uh, for mine. So that's the IP address of this system. Control X, then we need to restart the SQL server, so sudo service mysql restart. There it is. Now to create the XBMC user, so it's mysql space dash u space root space dash p. Enter password, so this is the password that you created earlier. Okay, so type in the following, create user, xbmc, I identified by xbmc, and then press return, query OK, mm -hmm. and grant all on asterisk dot asterisk to xbmc and slash q bye okay now we can set up xbmc in linux your xbmc folder is under your home folder and it's hidden so in nautilus you just press ctrl h to show all the hidden folders just scroll down to xbmc i've just created a backup copy so i just did copy and then paste so go in there so for other operating systems, just have to check out the description below to see where all the config files are stored for XBMC. So .xbmc, user data, and I want to change this file here, advanced settings. Now I've gone and created my one. If you don't have an advanced settings file there, then you just have to go right click, create a new document, an empty document, and then you can just rename it. So I open up that. So you can see on mine, I've just changed the time jumps. So I'm going to pop this command in here, so that would be video database type my SQL type host, and that's the IP address of your server. So of mine, 192.168.62.40. Port, default port number 3306, unless you've changed your SQL server to run on a different port. User, that's the username you set earlier, that'd be xbmc, 
pass password it's BMC. Now optional you can set the name so you could have multiple libraries but I was reading on the wiki page that that can cause problems. So that's it for video database. Just got to finish that off correctly. Now we can do the same for music database. Just copy and paste half of this because I'm sure it'll be the same. Save it and close. Once I've gone into videos, files, just go and delete the old folders. So I just press C and remove source. And same for that. Now add videos. SMB for mine. That's what I use. That's it, okay. Movies. Movies on NAS. This directory contains movies. Okay, we leave that going on this XBMC system. Now on your next XBMC system, once you've made the changes to the advanced settings file, you can just open it up, go into it, and it's got the library straight there. So you don't need to do anything else on any of the other devices. So once it's up and running, it's quite simple. Anyway, that's how to set up a single library for multiple XBMC devices. So thanks for watching. See you later.